Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and in today's tutorial, we learn about how to plot your data using Vega. Vega. So Vega is a virtualization grammar package, which is very useful and is usually built on top of D3GX. So it provides you with all the functionality to do this pretty fine virtual virtualization. Okay, area plot, bar plot, all these plots you can do it with Vega, just like with Gatfly and then Winston. And then plotly okay so if you don't have it just use this command pkg.add vega then be using vega so but in today's tutorial we're not be using the atom we're using something different we're using jupyter notebook so if you don't have jupyter notebook you can just go with a normal jupyter notebook right then it, you follow through these instructions to install it this installing Jupyter Notebook so the basis of it is that if you have Python already installed you just go with pip that pip is a Python package manager which everybody knows and then install Jupyter so you're just going to install this package and uh, this Jupyter Notebook for you double L one L so it's going to install it for you if you are using Python, Python 3.5 you go with pip3 then install Jupyter. so after that you open your julia command prompt and then you add a package pkg dot add then agilia okay so it's going to add this agilia package to your Jupyter notebook so after that you just run it with run your for your Jupyter notebook with Jupyter notebook so it's going to use your default browser to open it so that's the piece about it okay so we're doing about Vega. as i was saying Vega is usually a virtualization drama and it's very useful especially if you want to describe data in json format you can use Vega. so these are all the some of the functionalities of it predefined virtualizations you will learn some of them okay so let's move on so that's opened for us so this is quite nice i've customized the team so there's another video on how to do this customization so you go to julia 0.25 or 0.5 rather <laughs> okay so let's start so you go with using vega let me increase it a little so using vega then we move on to our package so let's try first of all something simple so let's try an area plot with vega so you go with x is equal to say one okay one three five and then seven right then let's create our y as this which is going to be like 23 something be 28 and then 25 or 45 rather something that will be progressive it's supposed to match up with them and then after that you go with our weight or our group which is going to be 0 1 1 0 these are just random values you can use based on the data that you have okay so that is it then you run this script run this cell Or shift enter okay so that let's plot this we'll be using let's say uh, our first plot b is called to area plot and then we are going to plot x axis as x and then our y axis as y and then our group our group as which is our weighted mean g as g so we can also have another argument as that is called to true you can omit it it's going to work so after that you just plot it shift control or shift enter rather or control enter we can run it with this okay so this is the plot that we had which is quite nice so let me reduce it so that you see it better so you can actually save it as a png which is nice for the Jupyter notebook so there's our plots so there are other functionalities you can also add to to this plot you can even change the color use something like the color skin there's one nice about one nice thing about Giga 
then you go with B which is this is our B and then the color that you want to choose is palette palette like normal color palette then to bracket let's see let's make this one green greens and then we go with something like say four or four yeah right something like this okay so when you run it it's going to change the color for us it's that green just change the color from the normal one to green which is quite nice you can even add hover effect to it hover bank and then b and you give the opacity opacity which is going to be let's say 0 0.65 so when you run it it's going to give the opacity so when i hover you see that the, when i hover on it, it changes in the opacity so there's one nice thing about Vega. so hover is changing okay let's do another thing apart from that you can also have several plots you can do you can plot the normal histogram something like uh, let's make it like our histogram h is equal to histogram and then we plot s is equal to let's plot with the s so when you plot it hope that don't give me any <laughs> mistakes the histogram plot can also be done in several ways so closed 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 okay so that's that's plotted for us which is quite nice so this is just an example okay so let's see another thing you can also do you can also do bar plots so let's try our bar plot as b b plot and i'm not going to create the same argument as bar plot within the same values these values are to generated to bar plots then it's going to be x is equal to, to x and then y is equal to y and then takes another method horizontal which can be true or false without it it's going to use a default bar, pl bar plot it's going to plot it like a bar see that it's horizontal just change it from the vertical ones to horizontal you can make it without it and then it's going to make it the normal see and it's going to give us the normal horizontal plot vertical plot rather so that's one of the nice things you can also do with it there are several of the plots you can do let's try it one last one like uh, okay so let's do an asta plot i've copied and pasted it so that it's faster okay so when you plot these ones let me run the entire cell i'm going to plot this asta plot for us so it's okay which is quite nice with all the effects start plots with the color scheme and then the hover effect which is quite nice okay so these are all some of the functionalities can follow through and then do most of your plots thank you for watching if you have any questions or contributions you can put it inside the question section so that everybody can also benefit and thanks again for watching and then please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed